we stole a tie. But we I'm going to sell up all horses. Hi, Scotty. This is Nana. I'm going to read you a Christmas story about Charlie Brown. Merry Christmas. And remember, I will always love you. Nana. when snowflakes fell softly and the sounds of carols rang through the air. It was a time filled with cheer and everyone was happy. Everyone, that is, except for Charlie Brown. He decided to get some help from his friend Lucy. You need to get involved in a Christmas project, she declared. How would you like to be director of our Christmas play? Charlie Brown didn't know anything about directing a play. But he didn't want to let anyone down either. On his way to the auditorium, Charlie Brown saw his dog Snoopy carrying a box of decorations. What's going on here? Charlie Brown asked. Snoopy handed him a flyer, and Charlie Brown read, Find the true meaning of Christmas with money, money, money at the spectacular lights and display contest. Charlie Brown couldn't believe it. My own dog has gone commercial. In the auditorium, all the kids danced around. Let's rehearse, Charlie Brown yelled, but everyone kept dancing. Good grief, he said. Something wasn't right. They needed the proper mood. We need a Christmas tree, he announced. Lucy agreed. A great, big, shiny, aluminum Christmas tree. That's it, Charlie Brown. You get the tree, I'll handle this crowd. The Christmas tree lot was filled with shiny metal trees in every color. Gee, do they still make wooden trees, asked Linus. Then Charlie Brown spotted a small, scraggly pine tree. This one here seems to need a good home. It will be just right for our play. Besides, I think it needs me. They brought the tree back to the auditorium, but no one seemed to like it. Charlie Brown sighed. Everything I do turns into a disaster. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Sure, said Linus. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. A single spotlight shone down on him and he said, there were shepherds in a field, keeping watch over their flock by night. The angels came and said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which will be to all people, for unto you is born this day a Savior, Christ the Lord. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Linus picked up his blanket and walked back to the piano. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. He loves that one. You want to watch or not? Yes. Charlie Brown picked up his little tree and smiled. Linus is right. I won't let commercialism ruin my Christmas. I'll take this tree home and decorate it, and I'll show them it really will work in our way. When he passed Snoopy's doghouse, Charlie Brown pulled off a bright red ornament and hung it on the tree. He cringed as the tiny tree bent under the weight. I've killed it. Charlie Brown cried, everything I touch gets ruined.
Charlie Brown's friends came outside, they decided to help. I never thought it was such a bad little trick. Liney says as he wrapped his blanket around the trunk, it just needs a little love. Then the kids took the lights and ornaments off Snoopy's doghouse and began to decorate. What a beautiful sight. When Charlie Brown came back, he barely recognized it. His friends shouted, Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. And then they began to sing. Yeah, yeah.